new end screens are here. I'm going to show you how to use them. Okay, so first of all, you need to go to the top right hand corner and you're going to choose YouTube Studio. This loads you into your dashboard where you get the general gist of the, your latest videos, your statistics, all the latest news, but we want to click on videos on the left hand side. Now to add an end screen, you first of all have to pick a video. I'm going to use this one, which is a video of me at VidCon and you click the little pencil. Now they do plan on putting the end screens in the editor on the left hand side in the future, but still at the moment they are on the right hand side underneath all of my vidIQ stuff, right? And there's a pencil here that says end screen. When it finally loads, you'll see the last 20 second of your video queued up in the top right hand corner. Now, if you want to import from your last video, there's simply an option there. You click on that and it will pull it from your last video and it will do exactly the same as you did in your last video. But if you've never used cards before, what I'm going to do is eliminate those. And you can either use a template, which are these, in which it tells you what they are. It's a video or playlist, a link and a subscribe, right? Or it's a video or playlist and a subscribe button. And it puts them around the screen. So it could be two videos and a subscribe, just two videos, right? Or you can import from a specific video in which you click up there, and if you know one of your videos has specific cards, then you can go through, click on those, and they will import them exactly how they were from those. You can manually add them yourself, right, without using any of these templates. So what you do is you scrub through to the point in which you want to add it. I'll say I'll add it around about there, and I click Add in Screen, and then I choose, is it a video, is it a playlist, is it a subscribe link, is it a channel link, is it a external link or is it merchandise? So let's say I want to do a video. I click video. It will show you roughly where it is. And I can drag and drop it and move it around. Down here, I can extend or shorten the duration. Once again, it can only be in the last 20 seconds. It's asking you, do you want it to be your most recent upload, which will automatically update every time you upload a new one? Is it the best for the viewer in which it will look at the viewer's viewing habits and suggest a video from your channel that would best match them or you can specifically choose one. So you can choose one by clicking there and then once again you can go through any of your videos and choose one of those or if you want to add somebody else's video, say for example I'm promoting vidIQ, I type vidIQ up here and then I'd pick any one of these that I want to or any one that happens to come up with that search term. So in this case, let's do this one here, which is vidIQ getting started. It would be there, yeah? And I could once again drag it wherever I want. I can keep adding things like a subscribe button and I can drag it and I can drop it. Over here, you can choose whether or not you want the hover outline card. And when it comes to the big video, by the way, you can also drag and make out how big you wish. I mean, you can experiment with the end cards, but overall, all there. Remember to make sure that you fill in all of the details that is asked for on the left hand side when you're doing things because if you don't sometimes you will get error messages. For example in this case you need to make sure that it's all linked up to your AdSense account, make sure that you're using external links, make sure you're using them properly, make sure that you're not spamming or pointing them to inappropriate things. Now once you're done and you've decided what's going where and where you want to do it, if you click the little play button it will run you through the demo of the video right up until the point where all of a sudden, ta-da, it pops up and it shows you how it would look if those were your cards. All you now do is you click save and it will be added to that video. If you want to customize your end page and make it look flashy, I've done a video here. And if you want to know every fine detail of your end screen, I've done a playlist here.